Okay, before we even um, start this lesson, I, we have to go over some vocab words and kind of understand about um, angles, sides of angles, vertices, what they all are. And then we will be able to tell how to name them. So the first one we want to know is parts of an angle. So an angle is formed by two rays. So if you draw a ray and you draw another one and they both start at the same end point. So if you put two rays together, like let's say this one right here starts with X. So here's a ray X, Y, and here's a ray X, Z. That forms an angle, it's just called an angle. The two rays are called the sides of an angle. So these are the sides. Um, wait, let me just, this is a side, this is a side. Um, the end point is called the vertex. So this is called the vertex of the angle. So um, there are three different ways to, to name this particular angle. So we could name it angle X, we could name it um, angle three, or we could name it angle Y, X, Z. You always have to have the vertex right in the middle. Okay, you could also, uh, you could also, actually this is the fourth way, you could name it angle Z, X, Y. So it doesn't matter what order you go in, either that way or this way. When you're naming the angle, um, you want to have, it has to go in order and the vertex has to be in the middle. Okay, so let's just clear all these. What else are they telling us? So let's see. Um, you can name it by, okay. When there are two angles together, so notice this, this angle right here. Let me draw on it here, this angle right here. There's actually two angles here. So there's one right here and then there's one right down below. Those are two angles. So we cannot name this angle, angle B. If you said angle B, we wouldn't know if you were talking about the top one or the bottom one. So we're not gonna call that angle B at all. You can only call it um, angle DBC, or you could say, um, of course, angle CBD. You could do angle ABC or angle CBA. So that would name all you know, the two angles. This one could also be angle two, or this one could be angle one. So those are the only ways you could name those. Now the vertex of all of the angles, even the third angle, I forgot there's, there's three angles here, by the way, um, DBA, angle DBA, or angle ABD. That's the, the great big one. So, um, but the vertex of all of those angles is angle B, I mean, point B, that's the vertex. Okay, so, Let's come down here and see. Um, okay, so the vertex is the end point here. Um, we'll go ahead and mark that, that was the vertex. The two sides of angle two, so that's gonna be um, B, D. So you have to do it in the right order. Because it's a ray, you wanna start from the vertex and go toward the arrow. So. Ray BD is one of the names of the sides and uh, BC. So you wanna put it with the little ray above it. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, let me clear those out. Ah, dang it, I didn't wanna save it, I accidentally shaved. Okay, that's okay. Now, um, this particular one, they're, they're asking for other names for angle one. So you could name it angle ABC, you could name it angle CBA, you cannot name it angle B. Okay, so that's all the answers. Let's go ahead and start and look at what we got here. So we're gonna name the sides of angle one. So we're only looking at angle one. We have to um, just, we have to get our eyeballs to just look at angle one. So the vertex is F, so we're gonna start with F and we need a little ray on it. It's gonna be F, G. Did you know that you don't have to um, use the shift button? It will automatically go in capital letters here when you type in. And then the next one is F, E. 
Now we're going to name the vertex. What I do is I just look at that middle letter right there. Always just look at the middle letter and it's point F. Now we're going to name two other names for angle EFH. So I look over here, angle EFH. So I'm going to just switch the order. Oh, wait. Ugh. Just a minute. How do I? I got to get down here. I'm going to switch the order of the three letters. So I'm just going to do H, F, E, because you can always go uh, write it backwards. And then I uh, want to look and see if there's a number in between. So H, F, E, it's angle two. So we can name it angle two. So those are two different ways that you can write that angle. Okay, let's do, we're going to do another example. I'm hoping this is going to help you guys. So we're looking at angle two. And we're going to use our three letters to name angle two. So S, Q, R. And then I'm just going to do those three letters the other way. So R, Q, S. Now the sides, I know that I'm going to use um, rays. So we're doing the sides of angle T, Q, R. I don't even have to look at the picture. I mean, you could if you want, but I just go from the middle letter, Q, R, and Q, T. So Q, oh, Q, T, that's so cute, Q, T. Now the vertex of angle one, I do have to look at the angle, but it's just the middle letter, which is Q. So the vertex is the middle letter and the sides are the rays that start with the vertex. You've got to name those in order. And um, when you're naming angles, you wanna have the vertex in the middle all the time. So those are some things to remember and that's the end of the lesson and good luck with passing that off. You guys can do it. I believe in you.